I'm going to say something very controversial and by no means do you have to agree with me, but here we go. Actually, if you clicked on this video then you already know what I'm going to say. Yep, React Native sucks. And here's why. So first of all, I want to make a quick disclaimer for all of the React Native fanboys. I know the title of this video seems a little radical and probably ignorant to many of you, but here's the deal. If it was any less radical, you probably wouldn't have clicked on the video, am I right? In this video, I'm simply going to talk about my experience with React Native and the things I did not like about it, even if those things are a result of me being a massive idiot. So with that said, let's get on with it, shall we? First things first, let me tell you a long and epic tale of my journey with React Native and how it all came to a bloody end. Okay, not that long, it'll only take me a minute. Since I'm not a complete lunatic, I learned React.js before learning React Native, and that's the beginning of it all. I honestly love React itself simply because it simplified a lot of things that pissed me off about vanilla JavaScript, like application state, DOM manipulation, and whatever else. So when I had this quote unquote awesome idea for a mobile app that would make me a billionaire, React Native came into my life like the messiah of JavaScript frameworks. Later on, I felt like it was just a trap. It started out great because I missed something very important. For the two months or whatever that I spent learning and building with React Native, I never realized that I was using something else entirely. That thing is React Native Web. React Native Web is still React Native, don't get me wrong, but there are quite a few differences that make a huge difference because, well, web and mobile are two very, very different platforms. So there I was, thinking that I could just test my billion dollar idea like a web app and simply build it for Android and iOS. That ended up biting me in the rear end pretty hard, as you'll see in just a second. The number one thing that makes React Native dangerous, in my opinion, is the high level of abstraction that tries to protect you from native Android and iOS code. You see, Android and iOS are quite different, and so that's why you have two separate languages, namely Kotlin slash Java and Swift, and also two separate APIs for creating the UI of your app. What React Native tries to do is help you forget those little details by developing your app entirely with web technologies. Can you kind of see where this could go wrong? The way React Native does this is by constantly relaying messages between the native mobile platform and your JavaScript code. So if the user taps on a pretty little button on your app, then React Native will do some black magic to translate that into a JavaScript DOM event. And on a side note, if you're wondering, this is why JavaScript is known as the language used for every single thing it was never meant to be used for. Anyway, my point is that those kinds of abstractions of native mobile whatchamacallits are intended to make your life easier, but they really just leave you confused as all hell. The second big thing that made me have nightmares of React Native was trying to build my app to an APK. I was using Expo as a sort of framework on top of my framework because it helps to keep your app organized and provides a lot of tools, including build tools for when you're ready for testing or production. So to create the Android build for my awesome React Native app, I used EAS, which is a hosted service for building app binaries provided by Expo. Here was where I really ran into the problem I mentioned a moment ago of not understanding how native platforms operate. I can't even pretend to be an expert in this area, so when I ran into issues with my SVG icons or some NPM module I was using in my app, I had literally no idea what to do. I mean, this is often the harsh reality of any kind of coding, but this was on a level I had never experienced before. This sheer confusion is what should have pushed me to learn more about mobile platforms, but instead it just scared me off. The good news is, I actually ended up fixing most of the issues in my code and got to a point where I could finally build an executable APK file. This was the high point of my React Native experience, but it was quickly spoiled because when I went to test the app on my Android device, Nothing happened. Yep, the app would just immediately crash and I never once got the satisfaction of seeing an app I made running on a mobile device. That was the day I left React Native for good. I may be wrong, but what you're probably thinking is, Chris, you're such a pussy, you gave up after just one failure? And the honest answer is yes, but it was mostly a buildup of frustrations that led to me finally deciding to move on to other things. So, now that my sob story is over, I'm actually going to discuss some things that are pretty epic about React Native. I did not intend for this video to discourage you if you are considering development with React Native. 
I simply wanted to show a perspective that is not often discussed. Number one, React Native is just plain awesome when you think about it. React Native is a JavaScript framework, and JavaScript is a web technology used to make websites. The mere fact that we can use JavaScript to make mobile apps is just crazy in my opinion. And don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed developing and testing the few React Native apps that I made. There are all kinds of bootstrapping libraries like React Native Elements that make the development process a lot faster, and not to mention, the absolutely colossal repository of npm modules, because a React Native is, in case you forgot, also a Node app. So you can pull in libraries for almost anything you can imagine. Are you making the next YouTube or TikTok? You can use the content-based recommender package to feed content to your users. Lastly, React Native is bringing us one step closer to the ultimate fate of humankind, which is obviously a world where all software is written in JavaScript, including operating systems and nuclear launch codes. That may sound dangerous and dumb, but hey, at least you won't even have to think about pointers. So yeah, that's why I don't use React Native. I'm done talking now.